up what's up you guys welcome back to another vlog if you're new to my channel i'm ebony monet and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back just got off of work in my car on my way to Shoprite. um i gotta go by Shoprite just to pick up a few things i feel like i'm really zoomed in but i can't change it right now because i'm driving so work with me but um yeah i gotta stop by i gotta stop by shop right because i gotta pick up a few things my mom is in town she just came today visiting rock and i she's probably not staying for that long she's probably gonna oh i should have went if i was to take a guess if i was to take a guess i would guess that <laughs> she's gonna spend a night and then um get up in the morning and then just drive home so yeah that's what i'm guessing she's probably gonna spend a night and then do that in the morning um you guys know that me and rock we um transition like his clothes from the closet that's in our bedroom to the other closet in the guest bedroom that wasn't being used and um i have like i still have like two bins on the floor um a couple sneakers that he's either throwing away or giving to somebody and what else there's probably like something else on the floor but i need to go home and then just find a place in the house for that stuff so i could just clear the floor off for my mom um because that's where she sleeps when she comes over which is probably common sense because it's a guest room but um yeah so i have to run and shop right to get let me see probably heard that was my mom texting me she just be adding on stuff like talking about get a green pepper for the um baked beans why do you need a green pepper for baked beans she be doing the most putting the most in the food like let me write it down green pepper So I think I got everything. Um, she was asking me what we wanted for dinner tonight because, um, you know, when she comes and visits, she usually cooks anyway. That's what moms do. But um, I just said I could go for burgers and fries tonight. That is completely fine with me. So I have to pick up uh, hamburgers, hamburger buns, hot dog buns. Um, I'll probably get like two things of juice. Um, just to hold us over because I was going to go to ShopRite anyway on Friday. Uh, juice, onion, she wants veg veggie beans. I'm going to get a thing of lettuce, a tomato, and an onion. a whole one it's hot as sh outside okay it is hot my car says 91 degrees and like i feel like the car be um be stretching it a little bit but it is hot i'm about to check what my phone say 
see yeah my car says 91 degrees my phone says 85 degrees so it's six degrees off but listen it's still hot like I had my blazer on because that's what I wore to work because I would never just wear this shirt like this by itself while I'm at work I had to take the damn blazer off and I'm mad well I'm not mad anymore but I was mad I could have like cried for a couple seconds because what is these people doing um I got in a car put all the bags away got in my car I was on my way home um i was on my way home from the store i mean i didn't get too far luckily thank god i just got to um like the stoplight next to shop right and thank goodness that i checked my phone that was nobody but god okay i checked my phone i'm like let me just see my mom talking about because she's still texting me and then i saw crinkle i saw the word crinkle because she was telling me type what type of fries to get and i was like oh my god i forgot the um french fries that was like the most important part and a part of me wanted to be like f it but i couldn't have done that i couldn't have done that because not only was she gonna be mad but i was gonna be mad because i love french fries especially the crinkle french fries mm, 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 mm. and i had bought oil i got oil at home but i don't know i don't know i don't know how much i have left exactly um but yeah i had bought the oil for the french fries and i'm like i can't I already didn't bought the oil i'm like I already didn't bought the oil what i'm gonna look like if i don't buy the french fries so yeah whoo but so i had to run back in shop right real quick secure that and now i'm on my way home i am so glad that i did not get too far and i'm so glad that i caught that when i was still next to shop right thank god even though i didn't want to go back in thank you god won't he do it oh but yeah so because my mom is here um originally she had wanted me to go to the store so she could um get a couple things for me because that's what she does also like she doesn't come too often but when she comes, she'll um she'll come bearing gifts and you know she'll um take me shopping for whatever she needs. I mean, one thing I can say about myself, like I never asked my mom for anything and I've been like that for the longest and I think that is something that's made me into the person I am today. Um that's also made me into the responsible person that's what i was looking for that made me into the responsible person that i am today and i don't i don't really ask her for any well i don't ask her for anything i don't ask nobody for anything um you know i do everything on my own and not to say that oh i do everything on my own like i don't need nobody help or i carry the word on my shoulders no i'm not saying it in that way like if i need somebody help trust me like if i need it if i need it i'll ask for it and that's something my mom said to me before like you always want to do everything yourself um you never want to ask nobody for help it's not that i don't it's not that i don't like asking people for help but like i don't know i feel like if it's something that i can genuinely do myself like i'm gonna i'm gonna do it myself i'm gonna do it myself i'm gonna take care of it myself now if i get to a point where i'm like yo like I can't do this no more like I need somebody then of course I, <coughs> then of course I'll ask somebody for help but I mean I never got to that point before <coughs> but um I mean overall I guess I just I just rather do things myself but back to what I was originally saying um yeah like when she comes she'll uh take me shopping for whatever I may need you know if it's a couple things that I gotta get for around the house, like um, paper towels, um, toilet paper, you know, whatever it may be, she'll get a couple things for me. And she wanted to go to, um, she wanted to go to BJ's, but we're not going anymore because y'all, like, honestly, I did not feel like going in the first place. <laughs> I didn't feel like going in the first place. Like, when I get off work, I'm just, uh, like, exhausted. Not exhausted, but when 
I get off, I'm ready to get off. I'm ready to shut it down. I'm ready to go in the house, eat, shower, watch TV, do whatever I do. I'm ready to just wind down. Like eight hours is a lot of hours to be sitting at work. Like the work day should really be like six hours long. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, we're not going there anymore, which I'm low-key happy about. And um, yeah. So because she's here, I'm gonna be missing workouts today. I was really gonna go back today to workouts in all honesty. <laughs> they was all like, all right, we better see you tomorrow. You better be back tomorrow. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna come back. In all honesty, I was planning on going today, but you know what I'm saying? Because she's here, gotta spend time with her because I don't see her that often. And I mean, it's only right. Like I would just be an asshole to have her sit at the house while I run and do this workout real quick and then like no I would never do that but yeah so back at it again tomorrow I'm dying because since me and Rock started working out he feel like he cannot miss a day of workout like yo he feel like he cannot miss a day I think it was yesterday I was talking <laughs> I was talking to him on the phone and one of his boys wanted him to come out to um he was having like a birthday dinner for himself and um it was about like an hour away and rock was like oh like i really want to go i want to show love i want to show my face but i'm gonna be missing workouts <laughs> he said but i'm gonna be missing workouts i'm like babe first off it's okay to miss a day at the gym like it's okay trust me you're not gonna die like i feel i feel you that you want to be you know that you're motivated you back in the gym you want to get it in but it's okay to miss a day of workouts trust me but i mean i get how he's feeling like at the same time like when i used to be really on my sh i didn't want to miss a day of workouts either because i felt like when i don't go to the gym i feel guilty like damn i should really be there right now so i get what he was saying but you know then again at the same time i was like you know you don't have to be everywhere you don't have to always show your face you can send love from a distance you know let him know that you just you can't make it and that's what it is and i guess he had told him that because we did end up working out yesterday but that's one thing about rock like he's the type of person he just i don't want to say he wants to please everybody but how can I say it? I guess like he's supportive. He wants to support everybody. There you go. There you go. He wants to, I gotta, you know, get better with how I say things. He wants to support everybody. So he wants to be here for this person and here for this person and showing love for that person and, um, you know, showing his face at this event and that event and blah, blah, blah. But I just be trying to tell him like, it's okay to miss stuff. Like it's okay to not be at everything. And he'd be like, you don't even know the half. Like, I turned down a lot of stuff. Like, I'm not at everything. He's like, you feel like I really be at everything? I'm like, you be at a good amount of stuff. Um. So, yeah. I don't even know how I got off topic on that topic. But, yeah. Okay. Hi. This is Ebony's mother. My name is Nicole. And I'm here making the babies known as Ebony and Rock some, uh, a little dinner. I don't know. I can't hold this and, and do what I'm supposed to do. But I'm going to make some gourmet cheeseburgers and some sausages. A summery dinner without cooking outside actually. Actually cooking out. And because I'm not home and Ebony is in the shower, I'm, cook I'm cutting up some onions on a plate. I don't know where her cutting board is. I'm sure she has two of them, at least. So right now I'm just cutting up onions because I'm making some barbecue, uh, barbecue baked beans, barbecue vegetarian baked beans, which I love. I had texted Ebony a message and asked her to get a green pepper. And I said to her, why do I text you if you're not gonna read the text? I bought hamburgers and she bought hamburgers. I said, get hamburger rolls. She went and bought hamburgers. So, yes, I'm just going to saute these, saute um, the onions. I'm going to put them in the pan. I got the 
the oil already already ready to saute the onion these are for the beans yeah these are going to be for the barbecue vegetarian beans I'm making bacon for them for their burgers so that they can have bacon cheeseburgers if I can I ain't even straighten this stuff out oh lord but um yeah bacon bacon cheeseburgers for them I'm gonna have me a regular burger with lettuce tomato mayo and ketchup and onion just like I like it I don't even have to have no cheese but if I have a cheeseburger I don't want mayo and stuff on it so I went to the meat market on my way here and I was ordering meats and two people came in and got burgers so I was like oh well let me tr let me try the burgers I'm going to make a couple sausages. And I don't know if they're going to eat them, but I know I want a sausage and a hamburger. Is that greedy? It is, but I'm getting ready to start juicing again, which means I'm getting ready to... I am preparing to try to get back eating no meats. As I did for almost a year, I was did the vegan lifestyle thing, and I absolutely loved it. I had... So much energy, so much more energy. I slept better, and I'm middle-aged, so I'm middle-aged now, which means that I should be taking care of myself. Not that I don't, but being vegan really helped out a lot. So yeah, we got the burgers going that they they seasoned for me. They seasoned them up for me and um, made them for me. I had I didn't know they did that at the market, at the meat market that I went to. But like I said, a couple people came in and ordered burgers. You know, so I was like, well, let me jump on the bandwagon. And like, again, I think it's a nice, a nice little Tuesday uh, evening dinner. I wish I had coleslaw. I love coleslaw and baked beans. Pepper. Pepper. Onion. Garlic. Yes, Lord. Mm -mm -mm. There's no better taste than the taste of a... Well, this combination going into your barbecue beans, which I'm sure I'm not the only one, but this is how I love them. I can't just open a bean, can of beans and cook them and eat them. I'll make them. So there's your onion, pepper, garlic, your burgers, your bacon, your french fries, your tomatoes, and Ebony with her full freezer. You go, girl. Vegetarian beans. Into the pot. Quick meal. Quick Tuesday evening meal, like I said. Not too heavy, night. well, I don't think it's too heavy. So this is the beginning, this is a beautiful plate. It's the beginning of her bacon cheeseburger. You got your little onions, lettuce, bread. More fries cooking and your beans. Okay, so you got your bread, your burger, your tomato, your bacon, your cheese. I'm sorry, I forgot a component. You don't want to try barbecue sauce on it? No. Glad I didn't sneak none on there. That's your burger. Yeah. 
then you got to be tapped with Got your seasoned fries. Bacon, bacon cheeseburger, seasoned fries, and some delicious, sweet, and spicy barbecue baked beans. That's the treat that Ebony gets from her mother when her mother comes to visit. Yeah, I'm going to take it to her. And we're going to see how fat people react when they see food. Or should she have a spoon? Hmm. Not sure. She might want a spoon for her beans. So I'll take both. Okay, here we go. You're going to serve the queen. Here we come, queen. Here comes your food. This is how fat people act when they get food. Or spoiled brat people. That's why you should only have Yo. two children. One boy, one girl. Get back. Mm, 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 mm. What you say? With your mom. Mom. <laughs> All right. Wow, that's a burger. That's a burger. I outdid Applebee's, right? Mm -hmm. Would you come to my restaurant? Yeah. You got to get a side picture of that burger. Oh. No, I'm putting some light on for you. I know. Seasoned fries. That's a bacon cheeseburger for y'all. And you got seasoned bar. Look at this dog.